Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So today we have Navras with us who has secured a brilliant rank in GATE EC examination. So let's talk to him and get to know more about it, Jani. So yeah, hi now, you can briefly introduce yourself to our viewers. Yeah, hello everyone watching this video. My name is Navras Ahmed. I am in the final year of uh, uh, EEE Electrical and Electronics Engineering. I am from Chennai uh, and I study in SVC, which is also in Chennai. So I gave a gate EC examination this year and the previous year. Okay, so you you are from Triple E, you said. So you from Triple E to EC. So how did you switch? Like how did you decide whether you want to go for electrical or for EC? Actually, while joining the college itself, I had like uh, I wanted to opt for EC in my undergraduate, but due to some reason, I wasn't allotted the that seat uh, in the counseling process. So I had the next option as Triple E, so I chose it. And then from the second year itself, like I started to prepare for the EC stuffs, and I would uh, used to compare the EC students their syllabus and like try to match myself with the EC students. And then in my fifth semester, I started preparing for Gate EC. Okay, so you started in fifth semester, so you would have given the third year attempt as well. So what was your yep. score that year? Last year, uh, uh, I just qualified uh, last year in GTC, and uh, I like uh, messed up last year. The preparation was like a uh, uh, very moderate level, I would say. Okay, okay. I I remember solving your doubts last year. Now you are uh, sharing some questions to me. I remember 2024 attempt, and the topic like you are completely connected. So I suddenly remember. So yeah, what was the changes that you made in 2025? Um, what the mistake I did in 2024 DATE EC was, I thought I was very good at uh, network theory and uh, <laughs> digital electronics. Uh, because in the college, uh, you know, like uh, the exam paper is, it is easy when compared to like DATE exam. So I thought like, uh, I know this stuff, I used to score like uh, 50 marks in every the assessment test. So I thought, okay, I must be good at this. So let's skip this. And then I started directly with other subjects. That's the mistake I did. And while preparing for this year, I completely started from scratch watching network theory from PrepFusion itself, which is available in YouTube, uh, the whole playlist. I covered everything from the basic itself. And um, yeah, that was for uh, network theory. And then uh, once I completed network theory, I then started uh, watching analog electronics lectures of yours. Uh, from the paid course itself and then it was like a uh, very good uh, before that uh, uh, I was like didn't know much about the MOSFET uh, circuits and all I was very like focused in the BJT circuits and stuff so yeah. yeah so that's the thing and look I don't know why it is taught on BJT basis only it should be taught on MOSFETs also to like uh, specifically mention some things in analog electronics was uh, everything was like uh, taught from scratch even from the minor uh, the minor calculations and everything and what uh, stood out in the course was the integrator and differentiator problems in open section and differential amplifier which are uh, like uh, taught in a very lengthy manner and uh, mostly focused in BJT circuits and in uh, prefusion course uh, it was like a very good uh, the intuition starting from the virtual ground uh, and everything it was like uh, very good and the differentiator one i always say that is taught always wrong it, even in sadda smith that is mentioned wrong you take the book called sadda smith that is wrong everywhere that is taught them yeah so oh. yeah it is what it is so let's get back to your preparation now like uh, uh like how did you revise the did you complete the syllabus first thing did you complete the syllabus or yeah did you leave that? except uh, except wave guides, I like completed everything. Okay, so how did you revise the complete syllabus? Like, and uh, when did you actually complete the test? So completing uh, EMFT wasn't done that much in the third year attempt. Uh, so EMFT was completely covered from the scratch uh, for twenty twenty five attempt. And rest of the subjects which were previously done, I like had those notes. So I revised from them itself. And like uh, I didn't solve much of the PYQs this time. I like uh, directly jumped to the test series during the month of uh, November. Okay, yeah. So you did not solve much of the PYQs. That's why you messed up the examination this year. Because as far as we have been connected for one year, I'm pretty sure I was expecting under 100 from your side. 
but yeah you messed it up and that was the reason that you did not do the two IQs so right now I am telling and I did not know about it I didn't know if I had known about it I would have certainly told you to do the two IQs so now I know the reason of how you messed up nah very uh, well, select two subjects I yeah yes to our viewers he is one of our students only from last one year and he is always connected so I know him I know his concept whatever the rank he is getting he deserved much better than this and I certainly know it and he, now I know the reason that he is the two so never ever do this thing and that, the same happened during my attempt as well I also did not notice much PYQs what happens is that when we are too much comfortable with the subject we feel like that why should we do PYQs because PYQs are easier we should uh, solve more test series we should solve more tougher problems and in that we mess up and this is what yeah. happens even during my attempt also I was also someone who was not focused much towards PYQ and there was one question which has been re repeated three times last year and the same question came during my attempt and I matched that and I matched that all year. so <laughs> these kind of things happen Okay, so never ever ignore the values. This is what you can learn from this particular session. Yeah, right. So, uh, what was your performance in the test series? Like, uh, I know the performance, but to our viewers, you need to tell. Uh, so, I bought uh, test series from two institutes, which you will probably know. And uh, in one of them, like, the full end test series was uh, in a good manner. Like, I used to score, like, uh, uh, average, it was 58, let's say. But I have scored high like a 65 in those test series. While in the other test series, the maximum was like 48 and 50, we can say. Average, I was scoring uh, in the range of 45, that's it. And when coming to the topic wise test series, I used to perform good in both of them. Uh, the topic wise uh, test series was, uh, uh, the performance was good. Okay, okay. So, what was your usual rank in the full length test? Full length mock test, usual rank, like roughly around uh, some rank you can tell. Yeah, it was in the two digits uh, mostly. Sometimes it goes like near 110, 120, like. But it was uh, like in 50s, 60s range. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So did you did you prefer making any short notes or anything like that, like uh, for revision purpose or anything like that? Uh, for uh, signal system and ADC, I just noted the formulas in a. Uh, in a small notebook yeah. and that's it for other subjects I didn't yeah so since you are a college going student so and you achieved this rank in your fourth year itself there have, would have been much pressure about your projects as well so how did you actually manage all these things uh, actually I have to talk about this uh, my college is like located uh, almost 60 kilometers or 50 kilometers from my house and uh, I have to travel in bus it would take two hours up and two hours down uh, I leave six and come home six Okay. okay. And I used to like take off on the Fridays of uh, most of the weeks. So I'll get three straight days leave. And I used to prepare on those days from my third year and sec uh, the end of the second year. Okay. So why didn't you think of taking the hostel there or uh, any student? That I didn't want to stay in the hostel. Oh, that means. Okay. So is it like the usual engineering hostels? Yeah, yeah. So you should have stayed there. I'm saying you should have stayed there. <laughs> uh, I would study it then. Now the examination is done. Once you are you are done with the interviews, one day you can stay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's too much travel, and you would you would not get too much of time. Still, you manage it. So in roughly how much time would you manage in a day? Like on an average, for gate preparation only. Uh, in my third year attempt, I, when I take any leaves or any off of the day, it's it was mostly six hours in the initial days, and at the end, the January and uh, December and in the third year attempt, it was like mostly seven hours. I couldn't like manage to do more. It was like uh, very stressful for me at the time, completing the semester exams at December, and just the one month gap. The syllabus also wasn't like fully completed at that time, test series, and I didn't know to manage much. And But this year, at the end, in uh, December and January, it was like <laughs> 10 to 11 hours in easy every day in the December and January month. Okay, okay. Yeah, great. And uh, like any kind of demotivation, you were, my, you might have been feeling demotivated, demotivated in between, right? Because uh, traveling... Six uh, from six to six. That is very tough. I if, let me tell you honestly. If I had been at your at your place, I wouldn't be able to do it. 
so yeah there would be demotivation like what i am doing what i am doing with my life two hours traveling and then coming back two hours and then writing down the test series and messing up in that test series as well so this kind of demotivation you must have gone through so how did you tackle yeah uh, i used to like borderline manage every subjects if there is the test tomorrow like i would study the before day like uh, usual engineer preparation how others do um but when coming to gate you have to switch your mind <laughs> like you can uh, take that lethargic preparation so the transition was like little bit tough at the initial stage then like i'm uh, i was okay managing it and coming to demotivation uh, the december phase it was like okay i thought i'm like doing good in the topic wise test series and the subject wise and when i gave some test series the marks weren't uh, that great i was like i got like 40 marks 42 i thought uh, this could be like improved very much i could like score at least 55 if i didn't commit that many mistakes and yeah and the paper was lengthy and many factors were affecting at that time yeah so what was your level of motivation when you attempted to uh, fusion test series so what was the level of test series and secondly what was the level of motivation you had after that yeah okay i i'll answer this uh, the first test series which i attempted was aimt one which i didn't attempt live i think and yeah the questions was good i was like uh, uh, i learned the things fresh so it uh, the knowledge was fresh in my mind so it was very easy and aimt2 was uh, the test was easy i guess yeah it was easy when i am coming to network theory uh i studied from you i had full confidence i gave first two three tests i was like ranked 3 and 4 out of the people who gave the test but when i came to the transient part i didn't expect it i thought i was like very strong but the questions were from your note itself i like messed up something and then i went and rewatched your lectures again and yeah it was it gave a good uh, perception at that time yeah but uh... it came very easy in the exam- main examination right yeah it was very easy <laughs> yeah so this is what happens sometimes like if we focus more on the uh, tougher part we might mess up the easier part as well this is what happens so we need to have a equilibrium so this is what you can learn from navras i am pretty sure if he is going to write down the iit madras ms paper he is going to perform pretty well in that because the level of issues would be pretty good there but in the gate examination he has messed up <laughs> from what the whole video i am saying he has much dub because i expected much much better from him but yeah it happens this is just a competitive examination this is just a 3 hours of examination this is not going to define your complete life and you are certainly going to do well in the future in your masters for sure and lastly anything you want to talk about prep fusion prep fusion courses or anything you want to tell to the to our viewers who are going to prepare next uh, like any motivating word you want to tell so you can tell Yeah I also want to speak about control system courses which I missed in this and the courses are like it was very good but when someone uh, starting initially would feel that it is difficult and like more mathematical but once you like cover up every lecture I'm sure that uh, you'll be doing very good in control system no matter what because uh, this year there was an MCQ question MSQ question like if you had studied really uh, well you could have done that question and it comes from the mathematical understanding you can't like apply every shortcuts and formula every time like you need to have that uh, mathematical understanding too yeah so any words any motivating words you want to tell to our viewers who are who are don't they don't examination yeah uh, if uh, someone is like going to college like me Uh, it might be tough for you uh, till you uh, till the third year but uh, once you uh, complete those core papers and everything you'll figure out uh, figure it out uh, yourself that uh, you could manage this and pull it off so like uh, don't lose it and don't try to like uh, aim high like uh, you have to like score this rank at the third year itself and don't try to rush everything and study itself uh, everything in under third year itself take it slow and uh, like uh, do your best in the fourth year attempt itself is what it is yeah and like uh, now uh, as far as i remember you have taken part in various hackathons as well right you have yeah. Been, yeah so how did you manage all these things like if i talk about myself i have been a student when i was uh, uh, preparing for gate theory take part any in anything 
although i was interested but i still stopped myself because i need to prepare for getting examination so how did you manage both of the things uh i had like a huge interest in like building stuff and all so i had a like a good uh, group of two people uh, which i which i was a part of their team uh, thrice so like uh, we did uh, really well in two hackathon so it was really really good it was a like a whole 24 hour hackathon like that so two days will be like uh, straight gone for the and yeah cash award you get it so i would like enroll it and you don't have to attend class and all it would be like in some interesting stuff and all so that's it yeah well, thank you now for coming to this channel yeah so we can end the session now thank you everyone for watching the video till the end if you also want to prepare in the same manner with prep fusion for gate 2026 and 2027 examination then you can visit our website and apply the code titans15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15% off the complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box best of luck to everyone and happy learning